What's good? What's poppin' everybody? It's Avatar Yaya, and we are back with some more Kingdom Hearts 3 footage. And boy, oh boy, is it hype today! Y'all already know y'all gotta sit through this long little fire, and we getting close to the I like this. This is cute. I want this inside of me. It's time. Look, Kingdom Hearts 3 is astounding right now. If you guys do not know, it is May 18, 2018. You already know what we got today in our inboxes, our sub feeds, our Twitter accounts, everywhere. Kingdom Hearts 3 news blowout. The premiere event had YouTubers and media to go finally play Kingdom Hearts 3. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, everybody is loving the game. People are saying that this game is the best Kingdom Hearts game in all of the whole franchise. Can you believe that? Like, I, I knew it was kind of a thing that was possibly going to happen. And it was going to be amazing. But I'm going to tell you right now, this game is revolutionary. So I'm going to get right into the news. So right now at the Cage 3 premiere event, you already going to know off rip that they got to play the Toy Box World, aka Toy Story, and also had the ability to play Olympia in that first boss fight. You're going to see the gameplay in the video, people. I got y'all covered. I got y'all to the max. All right, direct HD feed gameplay out here now. We ain't got to take no more screenshots from somebody, Nokia phone or a Galaxy S8. I don't know. I'm just being wild right now. But... Right now, I do want to talk about the Olympus boss fight. But before I talk about my favorite new feature in Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm going to tell y'all right now. The Olympus boss fight, the giant rock titan uh, monster that we've seen back in late 2015, even earliest of Kingdom Hearts 3's development, looks way more polished than it did back then. Now everything's so fluid and the way Sora can move and interact with the environment, aka how he runs up walls and... The game is fluidity as all hell. I'm going to tell you what, one of the main features that's going to make this game so freaking good. This game right now, from based on this gameplay, has minimal to no cutscenes. I haven't seen one cutscene in the gameplay, and I think your PS4 might explode. So if you get the money, you got some time, go ahead cop that PS4 Pro. Go ahead and get it. It'd be better safe than sorry if something happened. But uh, this gameplay looks astounding, and the flow motion and the giant uh, train attraction flow for the boss fight looks astounding. I feel like what's going to happen in Kingdom Hearts 3, there's going to be certain bosses you're going to need attraction flow to beat, and certain ones, after you beat them, you unlock various smaller versions of attraction flow that also work as pseudo summons in a way for the game you could play in other worlds. That's what I'm theorizing as of now. But besides that, that ain't the point, people. I'm about to talk about my favorite feature, favorite new mechanic that has been confirmed in Kingdom Hearts 3. Didn't even know this was a thing. I may not have read this somewhere, but I am hype as all hell about this one little feature. All right, this one feature I'm about to talk about makes me more excited for this game because it kind of annoyed me that it wasn't implemented in older Kingdom Hearts games. And even though it wasn't a big issue, it still was something that I knew other games did of its genre. In Kingdom Hearts 3, you could switch Keyblades on the fly. Yes, in Kingdom Hearts 3, you could have up to three Keyblades at a time, switch them in and out from 1, 2, and 3, and you could go in, bro. Reminds me of older games like Devil May Cry and, like, I don't know, uh, Tomb Raider, like, even an action RPG like Final Fantasy 15 or something like that. Like, bro, if you know and you play Final Fantasy 15 and you enjoyed that gameplay of that, that mechanic of switching any weapon on the fly contributes heavy to the gameplay and how you defeat bosses. It just makes things so unique to me. I think that's just high tier, godlike, and outstanding, all right? Think about it. If they add older Keyblades to this game, which I don't know if they will, to see no more like throwing surprises, we can analyze Kingdom Hearts content for years and still be surprised by the littlest thing he shows us. But think about it, if you had Decisive Pumpkin and you go for a combo and then you switch to Oath Keeper just to get the W, you're gonna be hype. Every boss fight is gonna be hype now because you got different ways of beating bosses with different weapons. And plus this game has Keyblade transformations, so endless possibilities of combos is going to be a thing in Kingdom Hearts 3. 
I'll tell y'all this right now. Somebody finna learn how to make the, this game fire raga, people. All right. Now, the next thing I want to talk about was the leaks. And I didn't want to talk about the leaks. I didn't want to show screenshots. I don't want to be a part of the embargo. Even though I'm not there, I kind of find it disrespectful to show off the leaks and stuff like that. You know, just the images. I won't do those. But, however, today we got time because Kingdom Hearts 3, Wrecked Ralph, is a summon in the game, bro. Y'all understand how hype I am about this. Wrecked Ralph is one of my favorite Pixar films. All right, I'm gonna be real with y'all. It's probably one of my favorite Pixar films. And to be honest with you, a little bit more reasons than others, like Sonic and stuff in there, and Bowser had so many different cameos from Bison from Street Fighter. It was a lot. Now, I am kind of upset. People are still theorizing that it's most likely a summon. I still there think there's a possibility that it might be a world. Like, I feel like it would be a missed opportunity not to have Vanellope and the racing thing as a mini game in Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't know, but I'm still happy that I still got Wreck-It Ralph in the game. Because right now, it's going to be heat. We already got Wreck-It Ralph. We already got my boy Baymax and Big Hero 6. We ain't seen that yet. I swear, I hope we get some of that at E3. Give us a little bit. Don't give us a lot. Just hit it with the tease. Hit us with the animal. All right, hit it with the, like the, the little trailer for Infinity War Part 2. <laughs> uh, screen up for it. But um, I'm hype about that off rip. So right now, another thing I want to talk about with Kingdom Hearts 3 is that the world of the toy boxes, I said toy boxes, the toy box world in Kingdom Hearts 3, all this gameplay footage you've seen on Twitter, if you watch this interview, I'm about to link in the description by Easy Allies. If I don't link it, I told y'all where it's at, so don't be mad at me. But they said that world is so expensive and big that each portion of a world has up to like almost five floors to it. That mean they only played, and, they, and I quote from them, they only got to play 30% of the toy box world. That is only 30%. That mean these worlds are the longest worlds in Kingdom Hearts history. These worlds are about to be so glorified and pretty and long and have longevity and a lot of replay value. Because I see there's so many different sections and so many different enemies in each world that this game shall be the most magnificent Kingdom Hearts and most magnificent uh, I don't know what to call it. I don't want to be. I don't want to be that guy. Action RPG, action JRPG, act. I don't want to call it hack and slash or whatever. But it's gonna be one of the best Square Enix games of all time. So that being said, comment, really subscribe. Tell me how you guys feel. Avatar Yaya is out. You guys are golden. Follow me on Twitter at Avatar Yaya TV. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Remember, you can come to my Discord. We can talk about more Kingdom Hearts three related news, information, and everything. So. Without your boy, you know he got to go because it might be a trailer later today. So that being said, I'm out. Squalor! Peace!